Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It is your boy, the SMT. Man, this is going to be a fun Speed with Sneed. A very unusual approach to this particular video. Uh, you guys know what I love to do. I love speed testing. Setting up all types of unique scenarios and situations. Testing all the major carriers. So I thought of you know doing this one in particular because I don't think I've ever done it myself or I've ever seen anybody do it. So I wanted to do something different. What we're going to do is we're going to be testing the Verizon Wireless 5G Ultra Wideband Network. But what we're going to do is we're going to do it with a twist. We're going to test the capacity as a mobile hotspot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect all four devices that I have on me to this particular connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually recording uh, this video with the phone that's connected to the 5G millimeter wave node that you just saw. And then I'm transmitting or broadcasting a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection, right, tethering hotspot to these four devices. And I'm going to speed test them all simultaneously. And we're going to see what type of, you know, throughput we're going to get on each of these devices. So uh, I not only tested each one, but I tested them all at the same time. My expectation was that, you know, they would have, you know, a pretty good speed. Uh, I didn't know exactly what it would be. I'd never done this before with, you know, these particular devices. So I've got a Google Pixel 5 tested right here. Uh, you'll see that the latency, pretty good there in the teens, 158 on the down. I'll wait for that test to finish so you can see the upload speed. There's a um, S20 Plus, I believe. No, that's the Pixel 3 XL. There's the S20 Plus. And then to the right is the iPhone XS Max. And you'll see the, the different speeds there. So, um, you know, interesting testing, I, I think. All right, so this one finished. That's the uh, Pixel 5. And uh, here's the... And, and actually what I wanted to see was I wanted to see the speed individually because what I, what I kind of saw was that the uplink seems to be the weakest link. All right, the bandwidth on the downlink feels like it's infinity, but the bandwidth on the uplink is the limitation. So... You'll see that the, the downlink speeds throughout the testing are really good, but the uplink, it's almost like one device, whichever the first device is, seems to be getting that, that throughput. The other ones pay the price. So, but I, wa I wanted to, this is something I wanted to see. I wanted to see what was going to happen to the downlink as well as the uplink. I wanted to see how it held up. So you could see 236 by 55.8 with a pretty nice, um, pretty nice latency. Here's another 239 megs on the down, 6.2 on the up, pings in the teens. There's a 95 by 37. I mean, that's pretty fast stuff. So, and then here's another one, this one over 300 megabits per second. All right, so if you are going to use Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband as a mobile hotspot, you can get some pretty incredible speeds on all of the devices you connect. All right, so when I ran all the tests simultaneously, that's what I got. Here's a single test. I'm just testing the Pixel 5. You'll see the type of bandwidth uh, that's available through this service. This this 5G Ultra Wideband wideband is very very fast. Uh, there's a 300 megabit per second downlink. Again, pings in the uh, teens, so it's very good, very low. Um, you know, it could be lower. You know, that's what 5G is supposed to do. We'll see what happens with standalone services, but that's good for non-standalone, in my opinion. Obviously, the lower the better. Sub 10 would be ideal. Uh, here I'm going to run the Pixel 3 XL. Uh, so um, the other, you know, the Pixel 5 we're seeing like between 2 and 300. Here's the Pixel 3 XL over 400. I think this one actually tops out around 500 or so. So pretty fast stuff. Uh, 416 megabits, 417 megs on the down. Uplink tremendous. You guys can see it's pushing the, almost that 100 megabit per second range. I think I have actually on the device. So the Moto Edge Plus that I'm recording with is the one that's connected to the node. I have hit 100 megabit plus on the uplink. So I have seen that. Here's the S20 Plus uh, by itself. No other devices running. I think this one does over 400 as well. Pretty good stuff. Uh, looks like latency i'm trying to see if i can get that with like 19 millisecond pretty good there uh down like around 315 and then i think for the uplink will probably be around the 80 to 90 mark if i remember this test correctly so yeah we finally got the 100 plus uplink there you go 
105, 107. Very, very good uplink. That actually just started about a month ago. Uh, for the most part, I was seeing like 20 to 30 megabits per second on the uplink on the device that was getting the millimeter wave access. Some kind of update happened. I'm guessing that they really started to do the uh, widen the channels a bit, especially on the uplink side. Really, really helped. Uh, here's the iPhone 10s Max. Um, not bad. Looking pretty good. Approaching that 300 megs. I think at 270 there. And the uplink. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what just happened to the uplink. That's crazy. It started off really fast, and then it kind of, kind of came, you know, dropped a little bit. So. Yeah, I, when I initially thought about doing this video, I just wanted to see, this is just for fun, I wanted to see what would happen if I tested all four devices at the same time, and then I wanted to test all four individually, and I think I have my answer. And word to the wise, if you do this, if you connect two, three, four, five devices at the same time through a millimeter wave hotspot, your phone is going to get freaking hot. I mean, I, look, here's what ended up happening. I don't know if it even shows in this video. It might. The phone got so hot, it actually kicked me off of millimeter wave. And there's a couple of reasons. Number one, you're connecting to a lot of bandwidth to that 5 millim 5G millimeter wave node. The second part is you're also tethering, right? You're creating the mobile hotspot. All this is very taxing on the modem, on the processor, the battery. It produced a lot of heat. And then the cases on it right so it can't dissipate heat as well it helps to take off the case but this thing was smoking hot it was cooking my hands i actually couldn't wait to get it off but anyways thank you guys for taking this opportunity to watch go ahead and comment down in the comment section what you thought of this video like it share it thanks again see ya thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the smt youtube channel if you appreciated this video give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new and have yet have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.